In the hours after the storm, this is a city trying to get back on its feet. The roof of this hotel's lobby collapsed onto two cars as the hurricane battered it with 175 kilometers per hour winds. But this smashed glass isn't storm damage. Police say it was left behind by looters who forced their way in after a mandatory curfew cleared the streets. Police are now investigating a string of burglaries on this same road. There are reports that people broke into several shops as Hurricane Irma pounded the city. So this is one of the many shops all the way along this street that the looters hit at the height of the storm. As you can see, they've pulled away some of this security gating. They've then pulled away some of this wooden storm cladding. They've then broken the window. There's still the glass beneath my feet here. And then they've gone into the shop and got their hands on as much as they possibly could. An employee at a phone shop hit by looters says they completely cleaned out the store. I mean, it was like six iPhones, seven, so those worth were like seven, eight hundred dollars, so somewhere between five and six thousand dollars in damage. With less police on the street as they sheltered from the storm, shops were vulnerable. People across this city are relieved the hurricane has passed. We're just riding around looking to see all the chaos and the mess. But Hurricane Irma spared us. No, God spared us. The extreme weather is over, and these businesses are left picking up the pieces. Giles Gibson, TRT World, Fort Lauderdale.